Google Slides has received a fairly recent update in their video options. This has been a long time request on my part for these updates within Google Slides. Uh, it was great when they added the ability to add from Google Drive, but it just got a little bit better. So I'm gonna start with adding a video from YouTube. And one of the options when you add a video from YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and just search from here and I'll add in this video like so is they have the ability to one, choose what part of the video you want to share, and two, you have the ability to have it automatically start when you're in presentation mode. So two great features uh, when it comes to presenting. Now, to do this, you have two ways to get there. You can get to video options from here when the video is selected. The other option is to right click or, or two finger click if you're on a Chromebook on it, and there's a video options button there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And you'll see that you get this preview button and it allows you to select a start time and an end time within the video. You no longer need tools like TubeChop or SafeShare.tv. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select a point to start with. We'll say it's right at that point and you just hit use current time. You could just preview it here if you wanted to and watch it all the way through. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'll select a start time and I'll select an end time like that. It automatically puts them in. If you need to reset them, you can reset them. And then I'm also going to set this video that it will autoplay. When I'm in present mode, it'll automatically kick on and start right away. You also have the ability to mute audio, and this would be handy in the sense that if there's some sort of animation you want, but you don't want the voice in the background, you just want the movement, that could be handy. So there's YouTube. You can also do the same thing from Google Drive, but the one thing that you need to keep in mind is you need to make sure that people have the permission to view that video. So I'll go through those steps here in a second. So I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna to go to video, I'm gonna select Google Drive. You can search your drive from here, search file names. Uh, here's one that has a nice name to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. It's Google Takeout Transfer. Otherwise you're gonna to have to kind of memorize the file names, which isn't very handy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this. It's Google Takeout Transfer. And you can select, just like with YouTube, you can select your start time and end time. If you want the whole video, you could have the whole video. I'm gonna go ahead and just select start time and end time just for time's sake. If you wanted to see this in full screen, you can see it full screen as well. I should have probably mentioned that before with YouTube. And I'm gonna auto play this as well. Now, I have a little issue, is I don't know who has permission to view this video or not. So what I need to do is I need to find this video in my Google Drive. And I'm going to search my Google Drive up here for Google Takeout Transfer. And an easy way that you can find these files as well. And yes, there's one right there. Uh, an easy way that you can find these files is you can also search according to video like so. I'll go ahead and search. It's going to pop up with any of those videos that are available. Now I have lots of different cuts here. Part of that is that I am I worked on several different versions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that these are shareable, like so. And right now it's just set that within my organization can view it. Uh, you can make this that they are public if you want. If you are a school district or an organization, you will have that as a default setting unless your tech department changes that. I'm going to set this as anyone can view and done. So that way anyone that views this video would be able to actually see it. All right, so here's the results. When I hit present, and I'm presenting and I give uh, my presentation to the class or, or to my colleagues and I click on the next slide, it'll automatically kick on, automatically kicks on, it starts here and it ends right about here. When I'm ready for the next slide, I just click I go to the next slide, it's automatically going to kick on. And just like that, you're able to have your videos automatically play within Google Slides, and you can select what time frame you want of the video.